Good morning. It's time for Pastor Rick's Reflections on this, uh, the 21st of May, 2020. And today happens to be the day we celebrate, it's feast day, it's fest, uh, we celebrate and commemorate the ascension of our Lord. And for our reading, the uh, text prescribed for this day is from the 24th chapter of Luke. Then he spoke to them. These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, begin, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. And see, I am sending upon you what my father promised. So stay here in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. Then he led them out as far as Bethany, and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. While he was blessing them, he withdrew from them and was carried up into heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And, that, and they were continually in the temple, blessing God. This is the gospel of our Lord. Ascension Day falls 40 days after we celebrate Easter. And as you might know, 40 is a big number in the Bible. It, it um, signifies completeness. Um, throughout Scripture, you know, you know of things like it rained 40 days and 40 nights and uh, for Noah... Uh, the season of Lent is 40 days. Jesus fasted in the wilderness for 40 days. And in things like, uh, let's say, the book of Judges, when they're talking about periods of time, especially when they would talk about when the people of Israel would have um, a peaceful, uh, complete time, it says usually in there that, and that the nation was at peace for... 40 years. There are other 40s that you can find as well. Um, but uh, that there's a reason for those 40 days. It's, like I said, it's, it, it very well was 40 days, but it, because of that number, it, it talks about completeness. Jesus' work between the resurrection <coughs> and the ascension was complete. And he was leaving his disciples at that time to and was physically raised up into heaven. <clears throat> For our prayers today, um, I want to take a <clears throat> a bit of a personal moment in this. Um, I mean, not necessarily extremely personal, but somewhat. Uh, <clears throat> found out this morning, <clears throat> excuse me, that uh, uh, a wonderful uh, young man by the name of Boone Dixon who was uh, a teacher at uh, Maryville Junior High School, um, taught both of my boys AP Human Geography. He was also one of the cross-country coaches for the Maryville High School cross-country team. He passed away suddenly last night um, while, uh, while out running. I don't know the details of this, but I know um, this affects the lives of Quite a few young people in our community who um, whose lives were touched by by this coach <clears throat> just like I said a wonderful human being he leaves behind a wife and I believe two young children and um, it's a it's a shock to our community um, and it's something that uh, we'll be mourning for a while so in our prayers and in your prayers if you would remember um, Boone Dixon and his family and just pray um, that they receive comfort and peace. And as a community, we figure out how we can support them. So let us pray. Good and gracious God, we thank you for another day that you give us, a day full of love, full of your incredible blessings. We thank you that on this day, uh, you were ascended into heaven and there you prepared a place for each and every one of us. 
Uh, today, as we mourn the life of a wonderful young man, Boone Dixon, uh, we know as well that you have prepared a place for him. You have welcomed him into his heavenly home, and uh, he will be uh, filled with joy and love there. Uh, but we pray for those that he left behind, his wife and children. Uh, get, help us see how we can love and support them. Uh, help the, uh, do whatever you can, then what, help us to see what we can do to um, help his wife through this difficult time and for his children to know uh, that his, his love for them never ends and help them uh, to be at peace and to, uh, while they grieve their dad, also uh, know that uh, they will always be loved by him and by you and by so many in this community. Uh, be with the young men and women uh, who were taught or coached uh, by Coach Dixon. Um, help them see in their grief the promise of the resurrection for Coach and uh, for the rest of us. We thank you for Boone and his witness to so many people. Continue to watch over all of us during this time as we know people who might be sick or communities that continue um, to have a difficult time through this crisis. Help us to continue to do what is safe and what is right, that we may take care of each other and take care of this world that you've given us. Help us through all of this and daily remind us of your love. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.